guys welcome to the channel movies world recaps today we will recap the movie brightburn so let's get start a house is shown at the beginning of the story and in that house lived two people who were husband and wife they had been married for a long time but still had no children the woman's name was tori and her husband's name was kyle tori then hears a noise outside so she gets out of bed and goes to the window to check just then there's a huge blast, as Tori looked outside there was a red light, it looked like someone had fallen from the sky, then the scene changes, in the next scene we see a video clip of a small child, then 10 years have passed in the story. Then in that video we see the kid from that video clip who is now grown up and that kid's name is Brandon, and that kid's parents are none other than Tori and Kyle. One night when Brandon was sleeping, his mother was sitting at home painting, then a wooden piece is shown in the garage and red light along with terrible voices come from it. Suddenly, Brandon who was sleeping in his room starts shaking hardly. Tori was also this but she ignores it. Brandon kids up from his bed and jumps from the window. When Tori hears this she comes out, of the house to check, then she sees, that nothing happened and everything is normal. Then he was walking back to his room when someone ran past him and he followed him to the garage where he saw Brandon open the basement door. But Tori is too scared to find the basement door locked and tries to get Brandon on to stand up and relax. And that's from where all kinds of terrible things happened a while ago. Later that day Brandon and his dad Kyle were working on some furniture, when Kyle said I'm going to get some stuff and you mow the grass with the machine. Then Kyle leaves and then Brandon tries to start the lawn mower, after many attempts the machine won't start so Brandon gets angry with the machine. Brandon then pulls the machine so hard that it falls 100 meters away, causing Brandon to get very scared and shoot his own hand because he can't believe that it. Then he goes to the side of the machine and sees that the fan of the machine is still running, so he goes to turn off the fan with his hand, but the wonderful thing is that nothing happens to his hand, but the machine breaks and the fan stops, and it's real that he had some super special power inside him. Then a lot of time passed, now Brandon is 12 years old, so his family goes to a restaurant to celebrate his birthday. Then Kyle's friend brings Brandon a gun as a gift, but Kyle takes it away from him instead of, giving it to him, saying that Brandon is still young and shouldn't be given such things. This makes Brandon very angry, and starts misbehaving with his father, and because of this Brandon's father, cancels the party and everyone, goes to their room by themselves. At home, Tori and Kyle start talking about Brandon's body changes, and he goes to, his room to check it out, then his mom sees some cutouts, of animals and people in his room, they think something is, wrong with Brandon's body so they he should be properly guided. Tori then tells Kyle to go out with Bandle so they can talk to his son. They then prepare their things for camping the next day, and go camping in the forest. Then while hunting, Kyle tells Brandon what it's like to be in the teenage stage. Then when night falls Tori suddenly wakes up to find Brandon not by her side. Then the scene changes to his classmate who closes his laptop and goes to sleep, but suddenly music starts playing on his laptop. Then he closes the laptop and turns to the bed, the laptop rings again. This time he puts some books on the laptop. Later when she turns around to find Brandon standing by the window, she screams and her mom comes in and tries to relax her. We then see Tori searching outside with the lights to look for the band just as she sees Brandon, who says Brandon just went to the washroom. Then one night when Kyle is leaving the gun in the garage, he hears the chickens, and then goes over there to check with the gun, and Brandon sees the chickens differently, and that's why the chickens are clucking like that. Kyle then asks him what are you doing here so late at night? Brandon leaves without giving him an answer. Then suddenly the lights go off in the middle of the night and with that the chickens start squawking and this time louder than last time, so Kyle goes to the garage to check, then he's even more shocked by what he sees, who knows all the chickens. Killed very badly, then he goes and brings Tori and shows them and says it's Brandon's doing because he was standing here at night watching the chickens, but Tori doesn't believe it. Later that day we see Brandon go to school and the teacher and everyone play a game where anyone in a circle is pushed and their classmate saves them from falling, then when Brandon gets into the circle everyone pushes him but a girl we know. In that scene, the girl moves away and Brandon falls, the teacher then says you are going to pick up Brandon and tell her sorry, when the girl reaches out to pick up Brandon Brandon grabs her hand and breaks her arm. Then we see Brandon's parents get called to school because their son has been acting weird, and he gets suspended from school for two days, and we learn here that Brandon and Tori. Then they come home and say the thing we hide under the garage, is what drew Brandon to him because I've seen Brandon open that basement store so many times. Then we see a red light coming from the basement and just then Brandon gets out of his bed and goes to the red light and today comes and unlocks it, then Tori suddenly sees the light and runs up there and sees Brandon floating on top of the light. Just as Tori gets there, Brandon falls down and cuts his hand, 
leaving Brandon very upset as it was his first injury. Then Brandon tells his mother who I am, then his mother says that you were found in an incident 13 to 14 years ago, actually you are not my own son and you were found through that accident. We get a spacecraft and where you are found. Then she says we didn't have any kids, so we adopt you, and put that spacecraft back there in the basement, that's why we kept this a secret for so long. Hearing this, Brandon gets very angry and starts breaking everything, then he walks away, then we see red laser lights coming out of his eyes, then he says I'm going to kill everyone. Then we see Brandon's classmate who is working on the laptop, suddenly his laptop shuts down. She finds Brandon there. Brandon brings flowers there, Brandon refuses to scream, but the girl says my mother has forbidden to talk to you. Brandon gives the flower and disappears from there. We then see a restaurant where Brandon's classmate's mother works, and as his mother starts to close the restaurant, she sees signs on every glass in the restaurant automatically, and all the lights go off, he realizes. No actually why was this happening, then suddenly a light broke and a piece of glass from that light entered his eye, she could not see well with one eye, so he keeps seeing a boy with a mask in one eye, then he runs away and runs into a room and closes the door, but the boy with a mask is Brandon who breaks the door with his eye laser and kills her there. Later that day the police come to investigate and they can't figure out what happened, then Tori takes her son to a counselor where she questions Brandon and finds no unusual signs of Brandon. Then we see Kyle playing games at the bar with his friends and the counselor's husband is there too which means the counselor is home alone. Then we see someone knocking on the door of the counselor house, then he opens the door and sees Brandon standing there Brandon says you don't know anything about me to the police, if you do it will hurt a lot. Brandon was misbehaving with the counselor who the counselor gets very angry, so he tells Brandon to leave and closes the door, then goes to bed. But then Brandon is seen reading Marx, just then the counselor's husband arrives and sees Brandon forcing him into the car to take Brandon home but just then Brandon gets too angry, his eyes turn red and he pushes him away, then the counselor's husband gets up and starts chasing Brandon with his car, then his car breaks down on the road and he sees Brandon flying up in the sky like he's probably drunk for what he looks like, then he saw his car flying in the air, then the car fell from the top and the steering wheel of the car went into his face and broke his face. Then Brandon comes to his side and makes his mark with his blood. Then we see Tori and Kyle are too worried because it's late Brandon hasn't come home yet. Just then Brandon comes home. But he has no clothes on his mom says where did he go naked Brandon says I was playing with my friends they pushed me so my shirt is dirty. His mom wants that shirt but Brandon doesn't want to give it to her. Kyle then tells Tori that Brandon is lying and hiding something from us. Later that night Kyle opens his eyes and sees that Tori isn't around and goes out to look for her and sees a spaceship lying there and Tori in front of this spacecraft then he sees Tori holding a baby and Tori's body is bleeding Tori looks a lot scarier than Kyle looking at the kid the kid's eyes were red just then the phone rang and Kyle opened his eyes to see that he was inside the room but what he was seeing was actually a dream. Over the phone, the counselor says that my husband died in an accident, and they both went to the hospital for that. Then the counselor asks that. Brandon has reached house or not? Hearing this, Kyle's suspicions became true. Later in the morning Tori and Kyle ask Brandon do you know anything about the counselor's husband's death because you were there last night and Brandon says I don't know anything about it. But Kyle gets very angry, he scolds Brandon a lot and says that he knows everything about these things. Then Brandon pushes Kyle away and then Brandon leaves. Seeing these things, Kyle realizes that it was Brandon who killed the counselor's husband. But Tori still doesn't believe that Brandon did the murder, then Kyle goes to Brandon's room and shows him his bloody clothes. He says he's not human like us, he's a demon from another planet who will kill us both, but Tori still says didn't believe. Then the day Brandon takes his father out for the weekend. Meanwhile, Tori is alone in the house when the police officer arrives and shows her Brandon's sign of the place where he was killed, but Tori pretends not to know and turns the police officer away. Now Tori realizes that Brandon is not a human like us, he is a demon from another world. Then Tori goes to Brandon's house and sees Brandon's comic book where Brandon has drawn various pictures and pictures of torture. Then we see Brandon and his dad Kyle go to the weekend where Kyle knows what Brandon can do and plans to kill him tomorrow, then Kyle shoots Brandon and then when Brandon doesn't do anything Kyle is scared to load another shot. Goes and just then Brandon is gone. Then Kyle sees Brandon flying in the sky then Brandon kills him with his super light in his eye. Meanwhile, Tori calls Kyle to tell her everything, but Brandon picks up and says he's gone. That's when Tori realizes she killed her husband. Tori says where are you then Brandon says I'm in front of the house and Tori gets more scared. The scene then shows Brandon flying in the sky in front of the house, then Tori calls the police for help, then the police and a lady cop come there, Tori dares to come to the door, 
but then the police officer's body explodes, then the lady police officer calls for the force for backup but Brandon brutally kills her. Then Tori somehow gets out of there through the window, then she realizes that Brandon can't be hit by anything other than the spacecraft, because Brandon was hit by the spacecraft once, then Tori breaks off a piece of it and gives it to Brandon, then she pretends to be in love in front of Brandon, then she hugs him, when Tori tries to hit him with a piece, Brandon grabs her hand and then Brandon gets very angry. He then takes Tori high into the sky. He threw down from there. Tori died on the spot for falling from the top. Then we see a plane come. Next scene we see the plane crash, with 268 passengers all dead on the plane bearing that brand's insignia. Then the media says that the plane crashed into the house killing Tori and Kyle and her baby is still alive. Then in the final scene we see Brandon sitting down eating a biscuit and the movie ends there. Thanks for watching guys. We will meet on next recap. Please do subscribe for more recaps and also keep supporting. Take care.